that's going ahead on the cameras. Now, as I mentioned before, the iPhone 12 has that dual camera setup. The OnePlus 9 Pro has that quadruple camera setup, wide and ultra wide on the iPhone 12, wide, ultra wide telephoto, and a color filter camera on the OnePlus 9 Pro. And I mean, I've said this time and time again, the iPhone 12 has a very good, solid camera. Even though it's only a dual camera setup compared to the quad camera on the OnePlus 9 Pro, I think this overall camera setup is probably better. A huge advantage point that you have on the iPhone 12 is that you can do 4K 60 on the back, which is normal, but you can still do 4K 60 on the front of the iPhone 12. The OnePlus 9 Pro can do 8K on the back, but only 1080p at 30 on the front camera. Makes absolutely no sense to me either. I don't know why OnePlus did it, but definitely when it comes down to this camera, this is a solid camera and apps, you know, like Snapchat, Instagram, this camera is also killing it there too. So this is a very solid sensor on both the front and the back of this phone. Now on the OnePlus 9 Pro, I've also said this, you know, for the last couple comparisons I've done, this is a very solid camera. The colors are popping. It's very good. You know, OnePlus, as I mentioned before, spent a lot of money on this camera. Now I think the bigger problem with this specific phone is that the only 1080p at 30 on the front, again, I think that's like something that's like a no-brainer why OnePlus did that. They should have done at least like 4K at 30. I don't know what they were thinking with this, but, but you can do 8K on the back, which I think is cool. You have that telephoto lens, which is awesome. You have the ultra wide sensor as well, which is really cool. So you can zoom out a lot. And I think overall, you know, the OnePlus 9 Pro's back camera is better, but the iPhone 12's front camera is better, you know? So you have to kind of pick and choose here. I like the capability of, you know, choosing a bunch of different, you know, lenses you can choose from in 8K and stuff. But as I mentioned, I think the iPhone 12 wins in the overall camera department. So to